Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my backpack for my first year of college. So the backpack that I have is the Fjall Raven Konkin. Um, trying to use my Finnish skills even though I know it's not the Finnish brand. But yeah, um, I know it's basic but I think it fits my needs really well. So obviously besides the backpack, which is the most essential thing for what's in my backpack video, the first hauled item slash most important thing is my computer. So I actually just got this laptop um, like I think two weeks ago and I bought it for the express purpose of school but I've also been using it for my own, my own things I guess. So yeah, I have my little MacBook. That's very important. Everything is online these days. Also equally important to my backpack and my life and everyone's life in general is water. Once again, a very basic, basic water bottle. I have this gray 18 ounce Hydro Flask right here. Um, you know, it just fits my purposes. I love drinking water and this size is perfect for me. So I got that. On to a few more techie items. Besides my um, laptop and my phone, which I'm filming with, and like the basic chargers for that stuff, I also keep these two very essential items here. So in this little leather case is my USB converter because the, ah, the new MacBook doesn't actually have a standard USB port, so I need this. And I also have my um, AirPods because you know, I like to listen to my BBC podcasts as well as um, various ballet music when I'm studying. So I think it's very important that I have that kind of stuff. So onto the supplies that I actually use for classes and stuff. When it comes to taking notes, um, you know, in college, you're basically allowed to use whatever system you want. Unlike in high school where teachers sometimes have their own systems. And the system I like to use is basically writing on graph paper because it helps me to keep everything straight bo both vertically and horizontally. So I just got these two 100 packs of five star graph paper and to keep them all organized, I have some binders, both of them from Staples. These are one and a half inch binders. I haven't yet had a chance to fill this new one that I got. It's just this Mead pencil pouch that I bought from Target. It's pretty simple. I don't always carry all the stationery I'm about to show you on me, but um, yeah, I just need this for basically going to classes and stuff. A lot of my stuff stays back in my dorm because I color code things based on classes, so I don't always need all of my pens or all of my highlighters or anything like that. So the pens that I like to use to actually write my notes um, are these G2 Pilot pens. I've been using these for years. I had to buy a new pack because I lose them very quickly. I'm trying not to lose them this year, that's my goal to get through the year with all five pens left, Ivy League math everyone, and I hope I can, you know, keep these in handy because I love them. I also like to use colored pens. Colored pens for me come in handy when it comes to writing headers, writing important items, or anything like that. Um, typically I use these um, pen towel, I'm sorry, these Papermate Inkjoy pens, but I did order some new Muji pens because I found that I like the size of the nib better. They have the 0.38 nib. So I'm hoping those are going to come soon. I just ordered them on Sunday and it's Monday today so they're not here yet. But I always have some sort of colored pen. It can be those because those are pretty good or it can be the Muji ones which are hopefully coming soon. I also have these Zebra Mild Liners. Um, these are just, these are from Target as well. They're just the normal bold ones. Um, this is like a 15 pack so usually you have to order them off of Amazon in like four packs but I was able to get this for like $15 which for these mild liners is not bad. Um, I like these mild liners because the aesthetic of my notes just looks better and I know it's probably not that important how your notes look but for me the more pride that I take in my notes the better I feel about them and the more likely I am to work hard and do studying things. I don't know it's just my personality. Um, I also got some correction tape because as Hannah Montana once said, everybody makes mistakes, so correction tape will be very useful. It may not be able to fix the other mistakes I'll make in college, but at least it can fix my bad handwriting. So I always keep an actual pencil with me. So this pencil is the biggest investment I've ever made. Oh my god, every time. Um, is the biggest investment that I've made. It is not really, but I guess comparatively in value. This is a Muji aluminum pencil that, God, is the best purchase I've made in my life. I love this to death and I also keep lead for that. 
I also keep an eraser because once again, everybody makes mistakes. I also always have something to read, whether it be my Kindle or another book or something. I know people say you won't have much time to read in college, which is why I'm not taking too many books with me, but I like to pass whatever little downtime I have reading instead of going on my phone. I also always have my bullet journal on me. This is a Lecturin. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's like a German brand or something. 1917 that I bought off of Amazon. The reason I like bullet journaling so much is that the way I plan my days and schedules and things requires me to have more space than the conventional planner offers. So I recently have turned to bullet journaling and I really enjoy it. And I find it actually to be very stress relieving because of the artistic element. So bullet journaling is a must. So obviously I also keep my wallet with my ID and everything uh, with me, but I just don't have it right now. Here's some more essentials that I keep. These are all based off of things that irritate me in life. And the first thing that irritates me is my dry hands. Um, and this is my favorite hand cream of all time. I've tried very, very many, including the nice L'Occitane one. Um, this hand food is delicious in smell and very good for the hands. Also, New York City is disgusting, so I have some hand sanitizer for when, you know, my hands are places where I don't want them to be. I also have ibuprofen because I get migraines all the time and I have the world's worst period cramps. Sunny G's because I also have very sensitive eyes and, you know, I live that thug life. Sorry, that was bad. Okay, um, what else? Oh, <laughs> my favorite thing, icebreaker sours because they're delicious and I just like food and I crave just flavor sometimes. So, you know, these help take away some cravings of mine and make sure I don't weigh 3,000 pounds. Well, another major irritant of mine is my chapped lips. So I use Vaseline Advanced Lip Therapy. I also always keep some sort of lipstick in my backpack because I like to look put together and my lips are like naturally kind of pale. So they look washed out, which I don't like. I just have this really old um, L'Oreal, like um, infallible lipstick. I often keep these Sephora click balm things on me too. Just depends on what my mood is or what my look is that day. I wear contacts, so I also have some hydrating drops um, to keep my eyes wet because they get very uncomfortable when they're dry. Oh yeah, here's my Sephora lip click thing. Is that what it's called? Melting lip click, yeah. It's really pretty. It's in the shade Cotton Candy, I believe. Is it for today? That's everything that is in my college backpack. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, and if you're also interested in seeing more of my life in college, please subscribe. I'll be vlogging my freshman year at least. Um, and yeah, please join me. Also follow me on Instagram. Um, it's at Sophia Estication, just like my channel. I've linked it below in my bio. But anyway, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.